Hey you guys, what's up? So let's do this quick pasta and chicken recipe. This was so good and my family loved it. We're gonna start off with two packages of Sicily pasta. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so don't kill me. I just add that to some boiling water. I, add a, I also added some salt and a little bit of olive oil to that and I boil it till it's al dente. I give it a nice quick mix when I pour it in because I don't want it to stick together. Now that it's al dente, I take it out and I put it into a bowl. And now I'm going to take okay. one of my glass cups and I'm going to save about half a cup of pasta water. Now I'm going to add half an onion into some melted butter on a medium high heat. And also about four garlic cloves that I minced. I add one can of tomato paste that that's cooked down. And now I'm going to add about half a cup of vodka, whichever vodka you like, and let it cook down like that. That's a very important step to bring out the taste of the tomato into the pasta really nice. Now I add about one quart of heavy cream into that. And I'm just going to take my whisk and whisk that around like so. And once it, don't worry about the clumps in there because once it starts to get hot, it'll melt all of that tomato paste right on up. So I just keep whisking it like so as it's coming up to boil. And you wanna be cooking this on like a medium to low heat. I add about a tablespoon of parsley, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder. And I also add about one teaspoon of red chili flakes. You can add more, I didn't want it to be too spicy for me. So that's all I added. And then I whisk that up again to combine all of it again. Like you can see, some of those clumps have already came out already. And I just keep whisking that up. I switched my whisk because my um, my plastic whisk was not helping me that much. So I switched it over to a metal whisk. And I know some people hate to see like metal whisks inside of nonstick cleanse, whatever. So I bring it up to a boil like that. And then I'm gonna add about a handful of the italian blend cheese and i'm gonna whisk that up you can add more cheese depending on how cheesy that you would like it i didn't want it too cheesy because you know my man is a little lactose intolerant <laughs> so i'm just whisking that up and that's the texture that i'm looking for right there that looks so good and then i added my al dente pasta to that and I also throw in a tablespoon of butter and I still leave it on the heat and let it cook up till it gets thick like that. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, it was so yummy. I didn't end up using all of the pasta, but I just put the rest of it to the side because I probably make like some pasta for lunch. So this is it with the cheese on top. And now I added in a little bit more, pom a little bit more um, Italian blend cheese. And then I just mix that up and you just let it sit on the stove, turn the burner off. Now I'm adding four eggs to a bowl for our chicken. And we're just gonna give that a quick little whisk. Um, add in about one fourth cup of flour to that. And I also add in some more seasonings, about another teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder. And I also added in some a teaspoon of um, adobo. And I take my seasoned chicken breast. You can season that with whatever seasonings you like. After I whisked up those eggs, I poured it into a plate and then I just coat it into that. I take some seasoned panko breadcrumbs and I just press that chicken that we did in the wet mixture into that just like so making sure that i'm pressing in the bread comes to that i did add cheese to this but let me tell you why i wouldn't recommend it because when i place them inside of the pan it's gonna like turn black really fast you guys are gonna see it in the next clip over but like i said just press those bread comes into that chicken to make sure that it's sticking to the chicken Lift that up, shake off the excess breadcrumbs, and then just place it on top of a rack until you're ready to fry. I heat my oil up to about 325-350. It all depends on you. 325 was like a safe spot for me because I didn't want it to get too dark too fast. 
So I next we just glue my chicken breast into that oil right there. And I just let that cook until it gets golden brown. I'm gonna take it and flip it over. Now this is where I was talking about the cheese. Like you can lose little black spots, that's just the cheese right there. But I mean, it's all up to you. Um, it didn't taste bad, so it was still good. Now I'm gonna slice my chicken breast up really nicely. Cause we're gonna just rest that over the pasta. And guys, like, I forgot to add this down to this, but this was so crispy. Oh my gosh. Probably the best chicken breast that I've ever made ever before. I put my pasta onto a plate. Depends on you how much you want to put on there. And I just take my chicken breast and I'm just going to lay that on top. So now I'm scooping out another plate. This is the plate that I did for my boyfriend hair. I took a couple spoonfuls of pasta and I just lay that on. It's up to you how much you want. There is no particular serving size. It's pasta, so if you want to eat a whole plate, I don't blame you because I had a whole plate myself. So now I'm just scooping that on. I know he likes a good amount of pasta. And now I'm going to take my chicken breast and I'm gonna just lay that over the top. Like so, I'm sorry I'm taking so long guys. Like this is like my first YouTube video that I'm editing. So bear with me here. Bear with me, we're gonna grow as a family and we're gonna get better at stuff. I am not a professional YouTuber or nor I am not a Michelin star chef. So you guys just bear with me here. I might move a little bit slower than the most, but we're gonna get it done and the food is gonna be really good. Now I'm going to take some Parmesan. I had a nice little block of Parmesan cheese that I had. I'm also gonna take that and I'm just gonna grate it over my chicken. So like so, you can add as much as you want because I know when you guys go to Olive Garden, you have those people turning that wheel for a very long time. So don't be shy. I added, um, I asked him how much he wanted to put on top of it and he just told me when, so I stopped there. And then I also garnished this with some chives just to give it a pop of greenery. And it was, listen, I can't even explain to you how good this vodka pasta was. It was so, so, so good. Like, oh my gosh. One of the best pastas that I've had in a while. And this Fasili pasta. Can you guys tell me if I'm saying that right in the comments? This Fasili pasta was so amazing. It soaked up all the sauce so good. There's me taking a bite of it. And I had about 10 more after that. <laughs> Enjoy, guys.